Hello guys, this is uh, Srini. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I want to walk you through ECS uh, introduction uh, quickly. I'll try to do it uh, in less than uh, 10 minutes. Let's uh, get started. Uh, I'm going to walk you through what is ECS introduction, what, is, what are the different building blocks of uh, ECS, like a cluster, uh, task definition, task, service, and all, how all of these fits together. So what is ECS? Uh, it's an Amazon Elastic Container Service. Uh, it's fully managed like any other service by Amazon. Uh, it's in a, a container management uh, slash orchestration service. So what does it mean? Basically, it means you build a Docker image and uh, you want to run it in cloud not on your local server or local machine. So ECS provides you everything you need so you can run it in cloud. Uh, so we'll go on all these concepts in detail in the next uh, a few minutes. Uh, so ECS takes care of uh, scheduling, uh, placement, uh, resource needs of your containers, isolation policies, uh, availability requirements, uh, etc. Uh, and these are all defined in the task definition, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, containers are uh, uh, run by tasks or services uh, as defined in your, your task definition. So you define everything in your, your task definition. Um, so what are the requirements, where do you want to run it, how many you want to run it, all that stuff. And, uh, and then you can actually bring it to life uh, with your tasks or services. Um, uh, you can uh, run them on ECS cluster uh, or as a serverless with Fargate. Uh, it is uh, uh, integrated with multiple AWS services, uh, so uh, it, you, you can use all the other AWS services like ECR, auto scaling, uh, Fargate, Cloud Formation, uh, Load Balancer, CloudWatch, etc. So this kind of gives you a little bit of a <clears throat> uh, context. So imagine uh, you are a developer, you're writing code. Uh, and uh, you want to build an image. So in the image, you usually have uh, everything uh, to run that your application, right? Like for code, uh, you have code, compile code, your runtime, uh, your dependencies. For example, if you're a Java developer, uh, you have your Java code, compile code, uh, and your uh, JRE, um, your runtime, and your dependencies, your Maven dependencies, etc. And you package them all into a a Docker image, yeah, right? And then where do you put this image? Like for example, if you write a code, you can uh, put that in a repo on GitHub uh, or maybe Bitbucket, right? So okay, so, uh, so for that, take care of those things. So we have a container registry. So basically it's like a GitHub for your images. You can version your images, you can have multiple repos, etc. So hope this gives you a little of a context. Um, so, so how it works. Uh, so you have uh, a container registry. So basically you built an image in the previous slide I showed you and you pushed it to your container registry just like you do your code to GitHub. Uh, ECS takes that image and it uh, actually deploys your application. So this one here is the one I was explaining you as a task definition. Uh, it's a basic text JSON file where you specify, hey, I want these number of CPUs, this is the memory, all that stuff. And based on that, you they are run uh, in, a, in your cluster or Fargate. If it Fargate runs it, you don't have to worry about anything else. So so that's how it all fits together. Uh, so, so let's go by one by one, the building blocks we talked about. Uh, one is ECS cluster. What is ECS cluster? There are three types of clusters. Uh, uh, you can look online in detail, but Fargate, Windows type, and Linux. So ECS clusters are a little bit different. The, the instances in ECS clusters are a little bit different uh, in the sense like these are called container instances because they have a ECS agent uh, running in the each instance and also Docker running uh, in the each instance. So you need Docker to run your images, to you know run your containers. Uh, and then ECS agent, so it can uh, communicate with uh, ECS service to do multiple things on your behalf. So, the, so that's the difference between regular EC2 instance and container instances. So we talked about the task definition, which is a, a, actually a building block, uh, which is the 
it's a text file in JSON format. Uh, there are multiple samples. I can put, I'll put a link in the description below for you so you can take a look at multiple samples. So it describes uh, your containers uh, that form your application. Your application may have multiple containers. For example, you may have one for front end, one for back end. Uh, or you want to run, uh, for example, two front ends and one back end. Uh, those, all those kind of things. And you may have one like a certain amount of memory for those and the CPU limits. Uh, uh, so all this stuff, uh, including the ports, volumes, that is all in the task definition. Uh, so task definition doesn't do anything by itself. It's just a, a, you're specifying the requirements. Uh, so task is the one which is actually instantiation of task definition. Uh, so what it means is basically if you are a Java guy, uh, uh, imagine this is a task definition is a class. It doesn't do anything unless you create an instance. Right, so the task is uh, similar in that sense. Uh, not exactly, but just to give you uh, an idea of it. So as you see, the task definition looks like this uh, JSON on this side, the left side, uh, and then you can run multiple tasks uh, based on that definition, right? Uh, so that's a task. Uh, you can run, like I showed you before in the previous slide, or you can have a service to run it for you. So that's the service. Uh, that's where service comes into picture. It does it automatically for you, so you don't have to run tasks by itself. And besides that, it also takes care of uh, uh, multiple other things like load balancing for you, scheduling and deployments and stuff. Uh, if you're familiar with Kubernetes, it's kind of like a lighter version of it, uh, maybe just to relate to it a little bit. Uh, so that's the service. So. This well, I want to give you give you end to end flow. So you so you're a developer. Uh, you're pushing your image to the uh, registry, uh, and then ECS from ECS it pulls the image, right? And then it you have a task definition which is a blueprint. Gets the task definition. Now it has your uh, your blueprint which is a task definition and it has an image so now it knows what to do with your image so it places those tasks in the ECRs uh, cluster so you see all these tasks here the tasks uh, cluster so this is how uh, the whole thing uh, the flow f comes together uh, so so this probably gives you a little bit of additional context so imagine you have this cluster Within the cluster, you have a ECS, uh, ECI container instance, which has a Docker agent, uh, sorry, Docker and ECS agent. Uh, and in that instance, you have a service. You can have multiple services. Uh, service. The, this service is running your task based on your task definition. Your task may have one container or multiple containers. So this gives you uh, a bit more context. So hope that uh, that helps you guys to have uh, some uh, idea what ECS is. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like uh, my video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.